so guys in this video we are going to see like the use of template and uh, what template is in am and how can we use that in order to create our pages and sub pages okay so like as you are already aware what template is template is a predefined structure that is used to like uh, and that is created by uh, developer uh, sorry by the authors and one more thing like there are two types of template one is a static template and one is dynamic template so that is editable template so editable templates are created by authors while the static templates are created by developers okay so let me take to you to the template console from where we can see like what are the templates we have so if i go to my adobe campaign here here we have this page sites so as of now like for this i'm taking the reference of vretail okay so inside the vretail we can see like many languages are there so i'm going under the language master and english okay here i'm going to create my page so how to create that page you just need to click on this create after that select the page and when you click on the select page so here these are the predefined templates like for experience page hero page section page redirect page product page content page so these are the predefined templates that you have okay so you can choose one of them so i'm, I'm taking this hero image as of now next now we will fill the details like uh, I'm, I'm like uh, putting the title as called the practice inside the name I'm putting practice if you want you can add text but we will see later these things as of now we can click on create and we can hit open so this is a first step of our uh, like author part like we created a page by using a template you can see like this is a particular page that we have created and one more thing i want to like cover in this particular video only if you want like this particular component is the hero image component so if you want like if you want to add some hero image inside that you can just simply drag and drop okay so this is the like uh, hero image you want to add some other components uh, let me add some so uh, I, I will say title okay so inside the title I'm providing a value like welcome to my AEM site okay we can put the h type like from h1 to h6 so these all things we we, we will cover later like how to create these uh, values as of now i am picking h2 if you want to link this particular uh, title with some other page so you can do that also like let me uh, show you quickly if i go under the quick uh, this particular sub directory of v retail so i want like when someone hits uh, <coughs> sorry when someone hits on that particular title then the particular uh, user will be get redirected to the experience page. okay so i'm selecting experience and select that's it and we will click confirm and here it is okay so this is how like i i added one more component you want one more yeah that is very easy like you just need to do one thing just uh, add your component the type of component that you want and you know uh, double click it to in order to configure that and select the image that you want to like uh, put there so i'm i'm uh, like putting this image uh, because uh, it is a practice so we can do anything but uh, in real sites it is totally up to the requirements like what image we, we are going to do and in order to view this what we need to do we just need to hit the preview button so that we can see like how our page is looking like so you can see this is the navigation bar that is already provided by the uh, template that we have used this is the title that we have configured 
this is the title that we have uh, like uh, added later by using the components and provided a link inside that so if i if i click on this particular link it will redirect to me to that particular page so we will see that and this is the image that we have configured at the last this is a footer which is already provided by the template so let me like show you how the redirect work so if i click on this so it is simple like you see in an html we provide anchor tank so sim it is similar to that only okay so this is how like we can create it pages using the template so let me go to the uh, uh, v retail site structure so you can see like inside the english we have kuldeep practice right so i want to create few more pages under the kuldeep practice so what i can do i will select the kuldeep practice and click on create page okay so now i want content page so i will select content page i will provide the title uh, let me put the title as about us and name is about you can provide anything okay so click on kind of create open that yes so this particular page has been created so uh, i i want you to like do as as i am doing i am creating one more page here create page and this time i want uh, experience page as a template next i want this experience page create done and i i'm going to create one more page that is the last one so just click create and remember one thing if you didn't selected the correct path then these pages will be created under the directory that you have selected so in case like i'm i didn't click on this kuldeep practice then they these pages are not going to create here these are going to create here or here if if i selected english then these these are going to create in this particular directory if i selected this then these these are going to create here okay so we will see these things in the later videos in detail like how the things work so it is a basic video like how can you create the pages using the template so i am giving you the overview of that so let me create one more page for you that is uh, we'll pick product page okay so it is totally up to you you can like uh, uh, pick any template that you want it's totally up to you so let me hit to create done now we have three pages okay so let me uh, like i have already opened about us and experience so let me open product also edit so i'm closing this one these are like already created so if if i show you like uh, inside the products we are not able to edit anything why and inside the about us also we are not able to edit and inside the experience also i am not able to add any component so what is the issue so in order to oh, sorry this is the uh, v retail english experience way so i am removing this one and i am opening our one so just select that and edit okay so what is the issue happened with the my aem instance because it is not allowing me to edit any page so there is a simple rule like you have seen i have hit the preview button so once you are in a preview mode you can't edit any page so in order to edit that you just need to hit this edit button okay so once you hit hit edit button so you can see like here we have the option to uh, add the content fragment because it is a experience page so we are definitely going to provide a content fragment if you want like you want to add component so we will see later videos like how can we configure the policy of the template in order to add the components also but inside the products uh, if i click on the edit so this is a product this is a review no recommendation okay so here also like it is not giving me the option to add any components right so i just hit the refresh and after the refresh there is an option of drag components here i'm clicking on this particular plus icon and i can select any of the component that i want okay so i want a button this time okay so i'm this is a button i'm going to configure it so button label is google so you are going to like provide the google link to this okay so what i'm doing i will hit the google here and www dot 
google dot com so let me let me like copy this url yeah that's it copy this now i'm going to back to pay link to inside the link to i'm pasting this url okay so let's see this will work or not okay so as of now like uh, i have done that thing and i will hit the preview button now so i can see this is a page i have just added one button so if i click on the google so it is like saying 404 there is an error the request url slash html was not found on this server okay so what what this is doing like this is uh, i think it is uh, what i will say like it will search inside this particular directory only it is not like uh, going direct to the google so let me reconfigure it edit so inside the error link to so link to is will work like you can see uh, let me remove this and this you can see like it will be re uh, it will be like uh, uh, what I say link to these particular attributes so and inside the contents only okay so if i go and show you like where this content is really located so let me open uh, this tool for you that is crx delight yeah here it is so inside the crx delight there is a folder content so inside the fol content folder you can see like all these particular folders are there which this particular uh, url is showing so if i if i select this uh, uh just let's select core component example okay and if i hit okay then i hit the preview let's see now what happens so it is just redirecting us to that particular page so as of now this is the component library these are the components that are already present here so we can use list separator social sharing tabs teaser tabs so this is a quite long video so this is the like basic intro part how can you use templates in order to create our own pages so all let's let's continue this training in the next video okay and if you have any like uh, doubt suggestions you can comment on the same because as i already mentioned you like i am also learning this tool so i am not expert in that but i am trying to give like knowledge whatever i have okay guys so let's meet in the video